Are you kidding me? Okay, found a hidden button. Got another hidden button. What did that do? That did a thing, right? I think this is still, yeah, that's still activated, but it got, <gasps> that's it. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now as you guys know, I am a huge fan of crossovers in games. Like when somebody can take a game and rebuild it inside of another game, it's always just strangely entertaining. Like it's amazing to see what people can do. And we've seen a lot of that in Paint the Town Red. We've played Five Nights at Freddy's, we've played Hello Neighbor, but none of them really hold a candle to one of my favorite recent games in Please Don't Touch Anything. Now, how anybody could recreate this game using the Paint the Town Red level editor, which you haven't seen before, is primitive to say the least. I don't really know. I don't know how functional this is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be the same as the basic Paint the Town Red that we played before. I haven't played it at all. I saw it and I thought, I really need to check this out. We definitely have the console, right? We have the machine. We're in the same room. There are a whole lot of panels around me. Been here for probably 30 seconds and uh, haven't seen or heard anything from Steve's arm. Okay, well, we have things to touch, so let's touch anything. That's, that's the name of the game. <laughs> so it is a fully functional version of Paint the Town Red, right? We have four colored buttons that's different though. The color buttons used to be there. So we're gonna need our clues. Ow, 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 ow. And we have crotch high spikes. Okay, that wasn't a problem in the basic game. Human instructions. Grab your weapon, gib your buttons, defeat boss, and win light bulb. And apparently we already have one of three strikes. I don't know when that happened. We also have uh, some hash marks over here. Nothing is here by accident. That's another thing. I have no doubt that everything here serves a purpose. So we need to take note of everything. We have uh, a five and a two. Seven, whatever that could mean. Some of these are red as well. Did you see that? When, oh, oh, when you look at them from a certain angle, some of the letters are ah, red. Damn crotch high spikes, will you stop? Well, we can start things off with what we already know from experience, right? Gib your buttons, G, Y, B, green, yellow, blue. So we need to put in green, yellow, blue. And then that should open up something for us. Okay, so we have two buttons now. And no loadout on the screen. No indication as to what we're supposed to do with them. When you see buttons, you press buttons. Okay, what's the worst that could happen? You could be given five more buttons, sure. So now we have two buttons over there, five buttons over here. And again, no real indication. And another button over here. You weren't there, were you? What did you do? Like, that's the thing. When I do do something correctly, I don't hear it. So we need to be really attentive. If something changes and I don't notice it, then things are going to get really difficult. So we may have no idea what that button did, but we do know that each of these panels are hiding something. So I should probably take a look around the room to see what the default status of everything is. So we have some kind of screen up there and five blank cubes we have one thing hidden here and another thing hidden here and then we also have the seven so remember seven maybe there's a hamster in here oh oh we have another button we have a hamster button we don't have a hamster button we we have a cyborg button i guess that's an ending oh i see now so that button is actually hidden and if we press this then we get access to the cyborg button, which we're not gonna touch again. <laughs> you live and learn, okay? We have another panel here. I think we have a panel in there. So there might be something hidden in this shelving. Can't quite tell. We have two more here. Maybe that's a light? Right, it did turn on the lights when I hit that button. Do I need to beat those guys? To see if something else changes in here? Uh, I don't know. Okay, there's something in the drawers here. Two more panels, another light. Arrow. I don't know what's hidden up there. I don't think I can really do anything. Eh, no. 
Okay, we have the whiteboard and uh, spilt beer. Hopefully I didn't need that. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. A couple of buttons. Hmm. I guess we could go check on Steve. Nope, nope. We, we really can't go check on Steve. More spikes. <laughs> Whole lot of spikes. Okay, then. So, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. Do you have any clues? This little doohickey doesn't do anything, by the way, just for anybody who's curious at home. And I don't know why I automatically start with one of three strikes. Maybe that's one of three things that I need to accomplish. That up there didn't change. So maybe I should just press buttons, right? What's the worst that could happen? Did that do something? Must have done something. That did something, and now I'm wondering if I actually needed that glass because I don't think I can reach this with my scrawny- Oh, no, I can't. I can reach it. Okay, good, good. Really? Can I please stop releasing people to murder me? No, no, I will not be done. This will not be my Men in Black ending. I got the cyborg ending. I got the men in black ending. Something tells me I can't beat these guys. I, I don't have a weapon and I can't kick them in the face enough and they one shot me. Okay, so that's two endings. I was already impressed with the fact that there are buttons that are functional and this looks like the game, but the fact that they managed to program in multiple endings just blows my mind. So those buttons are gonna lead to the FBI ending. We don't want that. And that button down there and this button over here, which I'll push anyway, lead to the cyborg ending. So now, maybe, oh, 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 okay. Nope, 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 that one, that's the Satan ending. That's the Satan ending for sure. <laughs> Maybe these are supposed to represent the forwards and backwards in time endings, right? We hit that one, it took us back to the hell, and then this one will bring us, will bring us more buttons. Okay, so one is good, one is bad. And instead of a hamster, we have tic-tac-toe. Um, we have any indication as to what we need for tic-tac-toe. There's nothing on the ceilings. Is there anything here? We have a five and a two still. Uh, I could do something like two and five? No? We also have an X. Maybe it wants me to make an X. Uh, I can turn you off. Good. Something like that? That seemed good. Oh, that's a light bulb. Ooh, okay. And I got a new button is hopefully not gonna release somebody behind me. Okay, here we go, oh great, great. Cyborg and fire. Well, we got a nice combo ending here, don't we boys? I really thought that I was onto something there. Felt like we were making good progress. <laughs> so we still have these three buttons. And again, no real idea what I'm supposed to do. We have a number two there, so let's hit the number two. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Now I'm curious what the other buttons do though. What about what about one and three? One doesn't do anything. Will three get me killed? No. Three revealed another button over here. Ooh, okay. So we have console buttons. That might come in handy, but what about this one? Did it do anything? Oh, it did something. Hold on, do, do that again? Hey, hey you, I, I need, oh, it's already pressed. So that released whatever this is. It doesn't look like it's hiding anything though. Interesting, so maybe that has something to do with these. So we have a symbol. I, I'm not really familiar with that symbol. And then we have four buttons. And not many clues to go off of. Shall we trial and error it maybe? Oh, that did a thing. 715. Okay, we can remember 715. Uh, that one? Nope. Nope, nothing there. Okay, you? Oh, 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 okay. Um, it's not really how you use shotguns, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not all that interested. So we hit another button, and that button did nothing. Probably would have also summoned them. Okay, so bottom left does uh, that. Maybe I can get them to kill themselves? Can you, guys, can you guys kill each other? Oh, 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 rude, that really hurt. Nope, nope, kill each other. Come on, come on, I wanna keep playing. I get the feeling they're probably invincible. Okay, fine, take me. 
Oh boy, now we're to the point where I need to remember everything that I've been doing. <laughs> so we have the colors, we have both of these, and then the middle one, which does that, and then U, which gives us 715, which isn't all that useful. Uh, yeah, there isn't anything here. So it didn't remove a panel to expose something, it added a panel for whatever reason. It was that one, right? No? Did that do nothing? I'm confused. I thought it was the two bottom ones that were safe. That one's also safe. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that they'll... Maybe I need to do them in an order. May oh, no, no, that, that wasn't an order. I'm starting to think that it might be a little bit too complicated to program in order for the button. So maybe we were onto something. Maybe I'm tired of getting beaten by the cops. So I think we're just gonna leave that for now. I completely forgot that it was actually this button, the garbage button that was releasing this. And by the looks of it, it's a pedestal with a plate on top of it. So it might be bringing something out of the wall and then I can remove what's in front of it? I'm not sure. So we don't want to touch you. Maybe that has another ending in it, but I think the X was it. Uh, you release 715. Oh, I was gonna say, does 715 have anything interesting? 715 has a hidden button. Of course there would be hidden buttons. Why wouldn't there be? So now we have J, S, K, D, and a little dude. Oh, we have a little dude up here. J, S, K, D. Oh, what? Well, five and two would be E and B, which doesn't help us at all, and then 715 would be G-A-E, which again, doesn't really help us. And there wasn't anything else around that had changed as far as I could tell. None of those letters appear on this instruction board, I don't think. J-S-K-D, oh yeah, S does. Uh, K doesn't, D does, oh. So S and D, J and K do not. So what if we hit S? Oh, S did a thing. Do we wanna just cut our luck? No, I, I think I wanna keep going. D, D, did D do a thing? Can I get D? Can you show me a D? Something tells me if I hit all this, I'm gonna get murdered. Can I get a K? I'm gonna get a K. Anybody, anybody get a K? Usually hitting all the buttons and touching everything is what gets you killed in this. How about a J? Nobody's coming out of there. Okay, so as long as I hit everything, I'm in the clear. I don't really need to know what it all does. So now we have this. This is probably what 715 is for, I would imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, five? Are you not pleased with me? Oh, we also have five and two. So maybe it's instead uh, five, two? No. Oh, come on game, work with me here. It's weird. This button doesn't do anything. I was gonna say, what are you willing to bet that it's a pentagram, but... Oh, it's doing something. It's just struggling to do anything, interesting. So maybe we should just uh, experiment with all these buttons and see if anything does. Oh, oh. That's a thing. That That's a thing. What, what are we doing here, boys? I don't know. We're just hitting everything. H hit them all. You know what? We're just going to light this up like a Christmas tree. Screw it. Some of these don't work. Some of them do. I think I've angered it. Did I make it mad? No, it's back. It's back. We're good. Just needed a timeout. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have hints. <gasps> We have the Illuminati. <laughs> Was that the Illuminati sign? <laughs> I'm just, ooh. Hello, bat. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Guess who's ready. They gave me a bat this time. Screw you, demon Illuminati. Oh, it even had spikes that would have come up through my butt if I was over there, that's good to know. Can I not win this? Getting the feeling I can't win this. Get the feeling I can't win this. It told me to grab my weapon and then give my buttons. I'm after giving my buttons, good sir. 
Weapons not really working out for me though. <gasps> Come on, man. What is the ending of this? I have it now. When you hit this one, this one, and this one, they don't light up. They just give you the Illuminati. And then if I hit that, I'm gonna die. But I also managed to release the bat. Was that one of these? Did one of these release the bat? No. So it did have something to do with what I did here. I just kind of mashed on buttons. Can I have a bat, please? What What did... I, I did some kind of, like, possum symbol. Hold on. I've upset it again. Maybe... Oh. Okay. I have a bat. Good. Now what? We still have something above the door as well. Maybe there's something sneaky going on out here. Can I... Can you please just get out, get out of the way? Is there anything... Oh. There is an exit. So there is victory. You can get out of, out of here. Just not easily. Are you kidding me? Okay. Found a hidden button. Got another hidden button. What did that do? That did a thing, right? I think this is still... Yeah, that's still activated, but it got... <gasps> that's it. That's the ending. That's what we wanted, right? Fight boss. We've gibbed our buttons. We we grabbed our weapon. We fight boss. <gasps> Please tell me I can beat you. Please tell me you can be beaten. I'm, I'm just going to have to give this my all. <laughs> I didn't see this bad break, so it might be possible. It might just be difficult. And you know what? I'm not going anywhere. <gasps> There's a button up there as well. Eh. We got, the, we got that button as well. Okay, that's good. That's my escape. So if I can't pummel you to death, then I will escape. But right now, I'll stick to it. You know what? I'll give it a good old college try. We did it. We beat everything, I think. Right? Steve's arm. Steve's arm. Okay, you know what? Just somebody get the crown. This is hands down the best paint the town red level I have ever played. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And it's like I said, I'm blown away. Like, I've used the level editor to try to make thumbnails in the past, and it is not easy. The fact that somebody took this much time to recreate a relatively abstract game, like, Please Don't Touch Anything isn't by any means wildly popular, but to have done such a good job making it in the workshop just... I tip my hat to you. Whoever made this, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but this was spectacular. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah!